Are you concerned about someone you think is being abused, but don't know what to do? Abuse is the attempt by one person to control another person using fear, threats, or violence. Abuse is not just physical. It may also be sexual, emotional, verbal, mental, spiritual, or financial. Statistics show that 8 out of 10 abuse survivors are women. Women of any age, income group, race, religion, ability, sexual orientation, gender identity, or education can be a victim of abuse. However, one type of abuse that only immigrant, refugee, and non-status women face is when their abusers threaten to have them deported, never to see their children again. The women may fear that if they report the abuse, their status in Canada will be at risk. It is important to be able to spot woman abuse and know how to help her. The key is to recognize, respond, and refer. First, you need to recognize signs of woman abuse. If a woman has bruises or cuts and she tries to cover them or makes excuses for her injuries, she may be in an abusive relationship. While physical injuries may be the most obvious warning signs of abuse, there are other things to look for as well. She may make excuses for her partner's aggressive behavior or pull away from friends and family. She may also become nervous when he is around or fall sick more often. The danger to her may be greater if she has just separated or is planning to leave. She fears for her life and for her children's safety. She is in a custody battle or has children from a previous relationship. She is involved in another relationship. She has no family or friends in Canada or faces obstacles such as she does not speak English or French or is not a legal resident of Canada. If you recognize signs of abuse, you should respond to the woman. One important thing to remember is to make sure to talk to her when she is alone. Tell her that you are worried about her and that what is happening is not her fault. If she is thinking about leaving the abuser, talk to a local agency that supports women fleeing violence about how she can make a safety plan. Leaving an abusive situation is one of the most dangerous times for her, so it is important to have support. Ask her if she feels safe at home and encourage her to pack a small bag with important papers and items and store it at your house. Do not get upset if she refuses to talk about the abusive situation or leave her partner. There are many reasons why she may not be ready to take the next step. Most importantly, make sure she knows you are there for her, to listen to her, and to help her when she is ready. Finally, refer her to professionals who can help. One place to call is the Assaulted Women's Helpline at 1-866-863-0511. They offer information and help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They provide help in over 154 languages and can tell you the right way to get help and stay safe. Anything you share with them is confidential. You can also tell your neighbor, friend, or family member to call Legal Aid Ontario at 1-800-668-8258. Lawyers will give two hours of free advice to any woman who is living in an abusive situation, regardless of her immigration status. For your own safety, do not get in the middle of an assault. If there is an emergency or if there is a life-threatening situation, call 911. Remember, if a woman is in trouble, she may be too afraid to ask for help. Keep a watch for signs of woman abuse. If you don't know what to do, call 1-866-863-0511 for advice. When you see abuse, don't ignore it. Do something about it.